Hi there pinball fans, welcome back to another Majestic Pinball Restorations YouTube video. Today we're in the workshop, we're looking at another customer's machine, which is Gottlieb's Happy Clown. Uh, this was released in 1964 and they made 3,235 of these machines. It's another old style electromechanical machine. I always think electromechanical machine art looks absolutely stunning. Gottlieb's was some of the best. Um, it's very wholesome, it's very cute. I think it's stunning, absolutely stunning machine. Not a lot to say about it really, <laughs> it's a very simple game to play, um, so I'll shut up and I'll do a quick flyover of the play field in the back glass, uh, just to show you what this machine looks like. One thing I will just quickly point out while I've got the glass off, the back glass on this is, it's got this weird little animation of a clown. So it's a little bit creepy. I'd say if anyone's got a clown phobia, definitely avoid this machine. Um, it's got an extraordinarily long neck. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's all about, but if you hit, hit a one point switch, it bobs up and down. Quite a nice little effect. So, Happy Clown is a super easy game to play. Um, electromechanical machines do tend to be quite uh, basic, um, but they come from an era where the whole idea of the game was just to win a free credit or a special. This machine is a bit interesting in that it doesn't have a special. There is replay values that you could set, so you'd win a free game if you got like a thousand points for example, or like 1,500 points. Uh, the machine would give you a free game, but there isn't a playfield special. What there is, is an extra ball feature, uh, which you can win. Um, but I'll go into that in a moment. So the main idea of the game is to spell clown in the centre to increase the value of the targets in front. It's going to be really hard to show this on the camera because it's relying on this projection wheel. Um, there's like a rotor which spins round um, and there's bulbs underneath which project through onto the playfield. It's a really cool effect. You can see it quite well while playing it but on camera it doesn't seem to be showing up too great. Whenever a star shows up on any of these targets, so we've got one here on the L, um, hitting the L will give you shoot again, which is a nice feature. It's quite easy to get. Um, you can get quite a lot of extra balls on this machine, so that's nice. So there's various points that you can shoot for, which will spin the rotor to change the value of the targets. Rolling through either of the 50 point lanes at the top of the playfield there will spin the rotor. You've got targets here and on the side, they're like little clown targets. That will spin the rotor, landing in any of the uh, saucers, either of the saucers rather, will spin the rotor. Um, so that changes the values of the targets here. The first time you spell clown, it'll look like 10 times the target value. So whatever these is, this is stopped on, so we've got a 4 here for example, that's worth 4 points. Once you've spelt clown, that would then be worth 40 points. Once you spell clown again, it then swaps over to 100 times the target value, and that is only awarded for one shot. So what's quite interesting is this feature rolls over between players and between games. So what can happen if you're playing a two-player game is you could spell all of the letters, get it to 10 times value, spell all of it again, get it to 100 times the value, lose the ball, and then the next player up gets a free shot at 400 points, for example, which in a machine like this is quite a lot of points. Other than that, you've got alternating shots. So most um, electromechanical machines will alternate different features and shots. So you've got the yellow targets and the red targets, and that's tied into the rollover switches on the lanes and the um, sources as well. I think, I can't quite remember what it was that spins that. Oh, that's with the rotor. So whenever you spin the rotor, so it's on it's on yellow bumpers and red rollovers. Then it goes to nothing. Then it goes to red bumpers and yellow rollovers. So this is a feature that alternates as you're rolling through the game. Obviously while you're spinning the rotor up the top with these targets here, it goes to nothing goes to red and to yellow. So while you're getting the bumper action off of that, it's the ball's constantly banging to his target, spinning the rotor and changing what's lit and what's not. It's super simple, it's super competitive with the clown targets in the center. It's a lot of fun for what it is. So let's fire it up and let's play a game.
start, so we've now got to shoot again. Shoot again. That was a hundred point shot, so we got hit the three, gave us three hundred, gave us three hundred points. And there we go. That was Gottlieb's Happy Clan, released in 1964. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've ever played a Happy Clown, have any memories of one, do let me know. Um, I love it when you guys comment, saying that certain machines bring back memories and things like that. Um, I love hearing about that. So let me know if you remember Happy Clown from like your childhood or your teenage years or anything, because I love to hear stuff like that. Uh, anyway, as always, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time.